You see all these VHS cassette tape cases here? I'm going to tell you something about each and every one of these. Whether or not it's actually important. Which it probably isn't. So first, we have The Little Mermaid 2 Returns to the Sea. As you can see, she's got crabs. Um, the singing crab. Uh, next we have Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Now this, this is a movie about a boy named, uh, shit, I don't remember his name, but, uh, Doh, oh, Doh, oh, Chucky. Chucky goes to, uh, Gene Wilder's, uh, Amazing Chocolate Factory, and, uh, they have fun, but BOOM! The Rugrats movie. It probably isn't all that good if I went back and watched it now, but man, I remember watching the Rugrats. You see this guy right in the middle? Remember? Who remembers Dill on the Rugrats? He freaking brought the whole thing down. Everybody, they're like, let's go, let's go have an adventure. And they're all like, wait, we gotta take Dill. So they're just dragging him along. He didn't do anything. He just lay there like a dead body. He just, he didn't help at all. He just, ah, he was useless. Recess. School is out. Um... I really don't remember much of anything from this movie. A Walt Disney classic. The Rescuers. This is about a mouse and another one. And they go around on a duck. They fly on a duck and are chasing after the girl who's being chased by the lady on the crocodiles. It is a hoot and a half. The Rescuers down on that. The the guys from the first one, well, the two mice, or yeah, those are mouses. Um, from the first movie, as seen here, they go down on that. And then uh, this guy with the boomerang shows up and kills everybody. Love bug, or just the love bug, which is about Herbie the car. Which in the cover he's got eyeballs, but in the movie he doesn't. It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. See, we got Charlie Brown. Uh, his dog Snoopy, and, um, the guy with the blanket. Uh, now we have Tarzan. This is a movie that is about Tarzan. That, and he's got his friends. They're all much smaller than him. Even the elephant, who's bright red. Who's seen a bright red elephant, ever? I have never seen one. If I saw one, I would take a picture of it. And then I would have it, and I'd be like, check out this picture, yo! Of this rad red elephant. The Jungle Book. This kid, and he meets the bear. And the bear takes him to the Monkey King, who is like a weird stereotype. The panther is like kind of the weird pedophile uncle guy that, I don't know, kind of follows the kid around. Where's the tiger? The tiger should be on the cover. This whole movie was about the freaking tiger. Here's a good one. I don't even remember this one. But uh, it's called Homeward Bound, Lost in Fran San Francisco 2. <laughs> Are you telling me that the animals got lost in San Francisco more than once? If look, they're getting chased by a train. They're gonna die. They're gonna get run over. Herbie rides again. Herbie um, goes out again. See, he's got eyeballs again, even though he doesn't anywhere in the movie. Um, this guy is flying on the hood, which that's probably not very safe. And his girlfriend's like, ha ha, look at you, you're, you're outside there and you're probably gonna die. The Lion King. Everybody's seen this movie because it's about, uh, The Lion King. Boom! Lady and the Tramp 2. Scamp's Adventure. Uh, this must be Scamp. He says, it says that on his name tag. He's standing in the middle of a railroad, which probably isn't safe. He's probably gonna get run over a train and die. Oh, if that would be sad or not, maybe Scamp's a douche. He's the Great Mouse Detective. Um, as you can see, this guy, the Sherlock Holmesy looking guy, mouse, is uh, the mouse detective. You know what? Actually, either the mouse is really big or the dog is really small. Because I don't think proportionally the mouse would be almost as tall as the dog. Gordy. <laughs> There's Gordy. Uh, Gordy is. A movie about pig. I'm assuming uh, he's got he's got a really nice little scarf there. 
Flubber. This movie is about Robin Williams, and he makes um, Flubber. This is the Flubber's the guy with the glasses, and a bunch of shit happens. And eventually, his robot dies. The floating robot. It's really cool. So he makes a new one, but she's a total bitch. Here's another one. It is called Fern Gully. It is about. I'm assuming this is Fern Gully. What the hell kind of name is that? Um, Fern Gully's friends. Uh, probably his best friend's the guy flying on the bug. Walt Disney's masterpiece, Fantasia. Well, we all know this is Mickey Mouse, but I think the character he plays, his name is Fantasia. Boom! Fantasia. Look at the hat. Look at the hat. I look awesome. Ooh, Dumbo. It's about this elephant, whose name is Dumbo. But at least the elephant in this movie is regular elephant colored. Not like that weird train wreck in Tarzan where the elephant was red. Instant classic. Cinderella 2. Dreams come true. Cinderella's not even looking at the guy. The guy's looking at somebody else. He's like, hey! Bambi. It is about the deer named Bambi. Whoa, I just looked. There's like a couple of really angry deer like about to like go at it or something in the background. What the hell's going on? Aris Aristocats. They're, they're nice cats because, as you can see, this one dresses nice. He wears a bow tie, and this one appears to wear a gold necklace, which means they probably have some money, so they're probably rich-ish. It's called Angels in the Outfield. Alice in Wonderland. What in the hell is this movie even about? Like, any movie with on the cover has a parrot with a bone in its mouth it has got to be like an Oscar winner. 102 Dalmatians. Boom. The original one, 101 Dalmatians. Now, I've seen this. Have you ever noticed how the dog is pregnant, but <laughs> think of how fat it would have to be if it had 101 little dogs inside of it. You would just freaking explode. He's the spirit of Mickey. I don't remember this movie at all. Donald Duck having melody time with these guys. The blonde one, Cinderella. Um, this one kind of looks like my grandma. Whoa, what, what is up? I know she wore a blue dress through a whole movie. This is clearly green. Why is she wearing... Yeah, see? She's wearing a blue one there. The Little Mermaid. Now, I never thought she was all that little. I was like, she seems fairly regular sized mermaid. Like, she wasn't like little compared to the other mermaids. I don't know if anybody else noticed this. It's like how in Star Wars, like, gravity seems to be full in effect in Star Wars, even though they're in space. Boom! Lady and the Tramp. This is the Tramp, which normally means a whore, like a hooker. It's called Sleeping Beauty. Um,. This is her sleeping, and when she doesn't get her beauty sleep, she looks like this. Mary Poppins. As you can see, Dick Van Dyke, who does uh, the worst British accent in the history of film in this movie. Um, but um, that's Mary um, Poppins. Um, she is the babysitter. The whale is Free Willy. The kid does not matter. He's like, fuck you, kid. I'm a whale. This movie, it's one of my favorites. Toy Story. Who doesn't, who hasn't seen Toy Story? Everybody's seen Toy Story. It's so good. Pocahontas. It is about Pocahontas. She is the girl, and she lives with a raccoon. And then this blonde guy shows up, and it's just like, Pocahontas, you so hot, I wanna do you. The Rugrats go to Paris. This redeemed the fact that the Rugrats movie screwed the entire series. Uh, Chucky gets married. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Dwarfus. Where Captain Hook uh, wants to do something, but I don't quite remember what it was he wanted to do. Um... And, um, a guy. He looks kind of upset. He's like, ah. It is the Muppet movie. I love the Muppets. They're like one of my favorite movie things ever. It is Pinocchio. Uh, it is a movie about Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket, who is much greener in this than I seem to remember him being. Whatever, but uh, it's a good one. 
It's got that song in it that they play at Disney World all the time. Either way, this has been fun. So, until the next video, see ya.